Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to solve another SQL interview question that has been asked in JP Morgan. The question is on calculating the difference in the number of credit cards issued each month. So let's understand the problem statement here. So imagine that your team at JP Morgan is preparing to launch a new credit card and to gain some insights, you're analyzing how many credit cards were issued each month. So your task is to write a query that outputs the name of each credit card and the difference in the number of issued cards between the month with the highest issuance cards and the lowest issuance. At last, you just need to arrange the results based on the largest disparity. So you have been given a table that contains four columns, card name, which is nothing but the name of the card. Issued amount is the number of cards issued in a given month. Issue month is the month in which the cards were issued. Issue year is the year the cards were issued. Now our goal is very simple since we just need to find the difference between the month with the highest number of cards issued and the month with the lowest number of cards issued for each credit card. So the final output should show the card name and the calculated difference sorted from the largest to the smallest difference. So that's how your output should look like. It should have two columns, card name and the difference, which is nothing but the calculated difference between the highest number of cards issued and the lowest number of cards issued for each credit card. So let's now move on to understand the calculation behind this output table uh, that you just got derived from the input table. So in this case, from the sample input table, we can see two cards. The first card is Freedom Flex card and the second card is a Fire Reserve card. So for the Freedom Flex cards, uh, we, you can see that uh, the issued amount, amount across months are for the month of January, we can see that the issued amount is 55,000. For the month of February, we can see that the issued amount is 60,000. For the month of March, it is 65,000 and for the month of April, it is 70,000. So we can say that the maximum issued amount is 70,000 and the minimum is 55,000. So the difference between the maximum and minimum will come out to be 70,000 minus 55,000 and that will give us 15,000. Now coming to the second card that is Sapphire Reserve card, the issued amounts you can see from the input table are for the month of January it is 1,70,000, for the month of February it is 1,75,000 and for the month of March it is 1,80,000. So in this case the maximum issued amount is 1,80,000 and the minimum is 1,70,000. So the difference between both of them will come out to be 10,000 that is 1,80,000 minus 1,70,000 that will give us 10,000. So that's our output as you can see uh, from the output uh, the card name for the Freedom Flex card the difference is 15,000 and from this uh, Sapphire Reserve card we can see that the difference is 10,000 that we just calculated now. So all right uh, you're clear with the sample input table and the sample output table now le let's move on to writing the SQL query and what would be the solution steps to solve the problem so basically to solve this problem our first step would be to find the highest and the lowest issued amount for each card so in this case we can just make use of max and min function to calculate the maximum and minimum number of cards issued in a month now the step two will be to subtract the minimum from the maximum to find the difference in the card issuance the third step would be to group the results by each unique card name since this is essential because we want to calculate the maximum and minimum values per credit card and not across all the cards. Now coming to the last step, we just need to order the results by the difference starting from the largest one as requested in the problem statement. So that's how we are just going to approach this problem. Let's now move on to my SQL workbench to implement these steps. So guys, here is my input table monthly cards issued. If I just run this, you can see that uh, these are the rows and columns that I have in my input table. So now, since I've been asked to calculate the difference between the highest number of card issued and the lowest number of card issued for each card type. So let's write the SQL query implementing the steps that we just discussed. So first of all, I'm just, I, I'll just uh, make use of min and max function to find out highest and lowest number of cards issued. So here I'm just going to write select uh, and since I want to make sure that card name should be there in my output. So I'm just writing the card name. Next, I will just make use of max function uh, on the issue amount column issued amount column so it will just give me 
the max and since I just want to calculate the difference between min and max so I'm just writing uh, the subtraction sign here and min of issued amount since this is this was our second step that we just want to, to subtract the lowest value from the highest value to get the difference so that that's what we just did so it will just give us difference now this is from my table name that is monthly cards issued issued okay and now also we just need to to apply the group by clause on the card name that is because we want to calculate the maximum and minimum values per credit card and not across all the cards because we want to mention for each card name we want to find the difference between the highest issued amount and the lowest issued amount at the last we just have to do order by on the difference that has to be in descending order since we want to display the highest amount first and then uh, followed by the lowest amount so that's uh, how about my sql query if i just run this query i will be getting the desired uh, output so if we just understand the query again we have just make use of max function to give us the max highest number of cards issued for that particular card name then we have used min function similarly uh, this will give us the lowest number of cards issued for that for that card uh, we are just using uh, uh, subtraction sign to calculate the difference between the max and minimum and this will just give us the difference then we are uh, doing group by clause to make sure that we are just calculating the results for each unique card names since that is what we are expected to do at the last we are just doing the order by clause on the difference that two in the descending order to to make sure that uh, our results are sorted from the largest difference to the smallest difference so that's how we are just going to approach this problem so i hope you understood the solution so the question is really really very simple it's an easy level problem so check out more videos for the advanced level and the medium level problems in the same playlist so thank you for watching the video let's meet in the next video